It's so exciting because we've really only heard no roots here in, in America, and to hear something else is fantastic. Unless, unless, of course, you do a little search on YouTube, then you can hear some of these other <laughs> songs. But uh, you're actually winning a lot of awards right now. Um, congratulations on that. You won Thank the you. European Break, Breaking Border Award. Breaking Border yeah. Award. You won that. You, some of these I can't pronounce. You got a <laughs> German uh, Pop Culture Award for Best Female singer and best newcomer i mean is, is it starting to sink in that wow this is actually turning into a big career no it's not <laughs> it's, it's still not sinking in and i'm still waiting for that moment where i'm like oh, my song's on the radio because I, I mean i do get excited when i hear it like the first time i heard it it was very i was just really happy but um it's it's very strange like i haven't processed it so well, I don't know if I ever will. Well, and that's fine. I, I, actually, maybe that's better that you don't. Just enjoy maybe. the ride. Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> so now, w did you come up then through the German music scene? Or? Well, it's kind of a funny story. We, some people, it, some people say we did. Some people say we didn't. We actually released the song on SoundCloud because um, no German label wanted, because I was living in Berlin at that time and no Germ German label wanted to sign us. Um, so we decided to, to start our own label and then release it on SoundCloud and have our own like online promoters and radio promoters and just kind of work together with them. Um, and it just started growing like Spotify, not Spotify Germany, but actually it was more in the US that started, uh, they were like, oh, this is a cool song. So it started growing um, on, on Spotify. It was like number one on the Spotify global charts uh, within like the, the first three weeks. And it was, um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know Hype Machine. Sure. Um, it was number one on Hype Machine. So it was really through the blogs that it kind of got bigger. And then Germany was like, oh, it's, this is getting kind of cool. This is, uh, maybe we should. Uh, and it's in our backyard. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why uh, Germany, like in, in, they started putting it in their playlist on Spotify and the German radio started playing it. So that's where it kind of started. Then. But your band, these guys are from Germany or? Well, this guy's from France. All right. <laughs> And these two guys are from Germany. We actually all studied at university together. So we met four years ago um, and we all studied a different instrument. So Basti studied keys and synth. He studied drums and this guy studied uh, guitar and I studied songwriting. So, yeah, and actually you spent some time as a songwriter writing songs for other people. Yeah, I was actually signed uh, firstly to a to a publisher because they told me they, they thought it was too risky to sign me as an artist. Um, so they Wrong. said, we'll sign you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll sign you as a, as a songwriter. So I wrote for like other projects and for other songwriters, but mainly in the, in Germany. Is it, uh, was that difficult to write a song and then go like, ah, I like this and I'm giving it to yeah. somebody else to do? Um, well, the thing is, I always, I mean, it was kind of hard sometimes because I thought to myself, oh, this is a cool tune and I like these lyrics, but I don't know. I just, I felt like it was my job back then. I didn't, I mean, I wanted to be an artist as well, right. but, um, I just thought to myself, you know what, maybe I'm just not good enough. And well, yeah. it, it's actually really good practice too, though, to, to be writing. It's like, you Definitely. know, to, to do it as a, like a nine to five type job. Yeah, Cause you're you forced to be creative 24 seven. You have to, uh, sometimes if you don't feel like you're motivated to, to write a song, you still push yourself to do it. Cause you, you need to write it for these guys. So that's why it really helped me just kind of, practice songwriting right uh you mentioned your label that you put together uh paper planes records yeah um ha have you found it challenging to do that all on your own to you know just all the aspects involved with putting out a record to, to be in charge of all that wouldn't it be nice to just sit there and go like i don't have to worry about i don't want to <laughs> worry about the business and i just want to create um I think it definitely would have been easier if we uh signed with a major label in some ways but this way we had insights to everything. Like we, I always wanted to know how the music industry works and how, how these things started. And I mean, I, I didn't start it by myself. It was actually my manager and I who started it together. Um, and we, we put all our money together and put it into the label. Um, and so he actually now takes care of that side. So I can focus on like the music, the album, um, and he focuses on on like finding partners and, and just the management side of, of the label. So we're I think we're a really good team. And uh, I'm happy that I don't have to do too much in the label at the moment because it's just it's a lot of work. But you do keep c control. I guess that, that is a yes. good thing too. <laughs>